Nice. So for the second combo, we're starting off a little differently here. Only three cars this time, because you know I did want it to be a little shorter and see exactly what you can do. You know, less with more is always a good thing. So we're starting off with Gofu again. You know, Gofu got the sauce. So we're uh, bringing out our two tokens again. And uh, this time, you can just go straight into uh, Link Spider. So using token number one, I put it in the grave as if it goes in the graveyard. And go straight to Link Spider. So now you're going to use your uh, Offer Scorpio again. And this time you're dropping yourself a level leader to summon out yourself Darling Tony and Cobra. And Cobra searches yourself Instant Fusion. Now you're overlaying with uh, these two bad boys to summon yourself uh, MX Saber Invoker. And Invoker is again going to summon out a Soul Halberd. There you go, if you guys can see. Now you're at a situation where it's like you've only really used, you've only went um, minus two because you've used three cards from hand and you got one back and you have two other cards in hand so let's just say you have two duds here right here's where it gets crazy because of love leader so first we're going to use invoker and our link spider to go into mrs radio since it's two earths and it's very convenient now we're going to start our link spider <laughs> i said link spider our uh Love Leader shenanigans. So Love Leader is going to decrease the level of uh, Gofu by one. Now, just make sure... Well, actually, it doesn't matter to zone, actually. So you're going to use your uh, last token and your Love Leader to go into Proxy Dragon. Proxy Dragon is going to be in the middle here. So now you have Mrs. Radiant Proxy, a level 4 Gofu, and a level 4 non-tuner. And you're going to Synchro Summon... With these two bad boys right here into Psy Frame Lord Omega. The zone doesn't matter as well. So now you're using your uh, low leader again, summoning back to the field by uh, lowering the level of uh, Psy Frame Lord Omega by one. So now he's a level seven. And that's when you get to activate your instant fusion. Uh, but before you do that, you have the option to go into a deco talker here, because um, as this board stands, um, there's no real benefit to keeping Mrs. Radiant because you're not, you don't really have too many relevant Earth monsters in your grave, and uh, the attack boost could probably be more of a benefit to your opponent, like it could end up being the thing that kills you. So, <laughs> you know, let's just get rid of that just in case. And uh, again, we bring back our love leader because, you know, Omega's still level 7. Now he's level 6. Activate Instant Fusion. And now you go into your Sea Monster of Theseus. And this is where it gets a little juicy because we're going to be summoning love leader back quite a few times now. So now uh, Omega's level 6. And Theseus is a level 5, so we still can't do anything with that. But if we wanted to, you can Synchro Summon into Coral Dragon. So now Coral Dragon is a level 6 Tuner Synchro Monster. That, you know, if you're going second, you would have 6 cards in hand right now. I mean, 3 cards in hand right now, because you'd only use 3 cards in total. And, you know, you could drop a card from your hand to destroy an uh, opponent's monster. But if you're going first, you still have a respectable two cards in hand. Now, at this point, you have two options here. Um, you can either use, sacrifice both your Omega and your Coral to go straight into an Ultimaya and go into a... If one of these two is a Spell of Chop card, you can set it and summon out a Crystal Wing. But that's not what we're going to do this time. That's what we did in the first combo video. But this time, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to use Love Leader's effect right here. Summoning it back from the grave and lowering the level of Coral Dragon down by one. 
You've probably seen this if you're a spiral player or something of the sort. Um, but because now Coral Dragon's a level 5, you, know, you get the Synchro Summon using it and Level Eater. And now we're going to go into our Stardust Charge Warrior. And so uh, from here, there's a, there's a chain because Coral Dragon activates when it's sent to the graveyard and um, Stardust uh, Charge Warrior activates when it's Synchro Summoned. So both of these effects let you draw a card. So it doesn't really matter how you chain it. Um, both of them are going through. I would say chain it, chain link one as Charge Warrior and chain link two as Coral Dragon, so that if they have a Solemn Strike, Charge Warrior stays on the field, and uh, either way you still draw a card. So both of those go through, and you are at four cards right now. So if you just went first, um, you just used pretty much just one card to summon uh, four monsters. If you went second. Uh, you're going to have five cards in hand, you know, if you want first, you're going to have four. And we're just going to summon out Lovely Eater one last time. Where you at, buddy? Um, you can either load level of Omega or Charge Warrior. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Um, I would probably say Omega because he's not going to stay on the field. Um, you know, come your opponent's main phase, you're probably going to want to banish him. And, you know, uh, you know, make your opponent go minus a little bit. Now, you can see that this board by itself isn't really anything too significant. I mean, Omega is a pretty strong card. I'm not going to deny that. And you can loop Love Leader because, you know, because of Omega. But the rest of these guys, Deco Talker doesn't really do too much um, unless your opponent really plays some um, specific cards. Charge Ori does nothing um, unless you're trying to be aggressive. And Love Leader obviously does nothing um, by itself. So that's why I'm saying it's a big deal that you get four cards out of this. And although you've already used your normal summon, there could be some real decent back row here. There can be real, uh, a lot of uh, good legit cards. Now, what I'm using is a UA deck. So let's just see what we actually pulled here. Um, pretty much not too bad. Um, with signing deal... When I had Sea Monster Thessius out, I actually could have probably went into uh, Ultimaya to go into, um, you know, Crystal Wing there as well. But, you know, uh, it's something that, you know, I would have to pay life points for. So it's really, again, it's it's your option. You can end with an Ultimaya. You don't have to go straight into uh, uh, all this uh, Love Leader Charge Warrior stuff. Charge Warrior is just, it's just if you want to draw extra cards. Uh, Maxi, that's always... It, it, this is like a floodgate in itself. It's like the floodgate hand trap. It's, it's like... It's scaring it, your opponent into thinking that it's a floodgate. You know, it's not an actual floodgate. But it pretty much just, like, has the mind games to, to act like one. Uh, Lost Wind, definitely not a bad pull. But it uh, doesn't really do too much. And Twin Twisters, you would probably keep your signing deal on hand. So, you know... Yeah, but, you know, being able to draw these four, you, you're pretty much starting off with a new hand um, after using this combo. So, uh, it's pretty legit. I do like it. And look at that glow bulb. Well, we didn't really get... I don't think we're going to be able to use it right now anyway. But, yeah, uh, this was the second combo I wanted to show you guys. A little way shorter. Well, not shorter, but uses less cards. Um, and it could get you just as much plus or benefit as the first combo did, even if, you know, the first combo uses one more card. So, you know, in Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, more, uh, using, uh, less to get more is always a benefit. So, um, you know, that's something you should always strive to look for. So I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, the, uh, these two pretty long combos that, uh, I tried out and, you know, share this video with your friends. Um, if they don't think Love Leader is broken and or if they haven't seen the power of Love Leader yet because this is like Love Leader at a very basic level. Like I, I am barely abusing uh, the fact that Love Leader exists. Like if I had some like crazy link forwards, you know, I could really just keep on going for like uh, 20, 30 minutes <laughs> in my turn. I mean, this is like a nine minute video. I mean, this combo took like nine minutes. So... Um, this one, uh, you know, it, it wasn't really anything too long, but, you know, I still use Love Leader. I summoned Love Leader this turn, like, five times, and I barely did anything with him. Imagine if, you know, there was some deck that I could actually, uh, capitalize on, you know, using Love Leader's effect. And, 
Yeah. So, you know, that's why I understand why it's banned in the OCG. I don't think it needs to be banned here just because it's not doing anything to hurt the game, you know, like right now. But it's like once people figure out the crazy combos of this card, like it isn't going to stop. Okay. People are going to just get r real crazy, real wild. And uh, we're going to see Yu-Gi-Oh evolve to a point where it's going to be like, okay, level your needs to go. <laughs> Omega probably needs to get me need to get limited or something. Uh, not right now, but maybe sometime in the future we might feel that. But I feel like Love Leader definitely needs to go. It's way too easy, and I ended up with four extra cards in my hand. First turn, one of them was a Maxi. Like <laughs> one of them was a Twin Twisters. How was my opponent supposed to win? You know what I'm saying? It it, it would be real hard for anybody to get out of a situation like this no matter what deck you're playing so and like this is this is a ua deck like this is this is like supposed to be one of the slowest decks out there but you know just because of the stuff like level eater and gofu i'm able to do this um you know just and it's just crazy now i understand this isn't something consistent but um you know maybe in you know like other decks that will actually be able to abuse cards like uh offer scorpio and Gofu and Love Leader, um, you know, it'll be a different story. So, you know, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Nisha here. Peace out.